Or hello! Welcome back to my Chanel. And welcome to dressing goth for beginners. There are so many different kinds of goth styles now. I think the umbrella term is alternative, but in this video I'll be covering the basics of my interpretation of goth style as well as what you need to be able to start dressing more goth including where to get affordable goth clothing and accessories. So if you're new here, here are some examples of my style and how I dress. And while this video's examples will be geared mostly towards female clothing, there will be some tips I'll be sharing which can be used by all genders. This video is sponsored by the Amazon store Bella Poke, or Bella Poque, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but thank you guys so much, and they generously provided several pieces of clothing to be featured in this video and I will leave links to the clothing I show in this video down in the description box. Now I'd like to make this a series, so comment down below with anything that you'd like me to cover in future videos. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So one of the most common questions I get is, I want to start dressing more goth, but I don't really know where to get goth clothing, everything is so expensive, where can I find something cheap and affordable? And I'd recommend to start with basic black pieces, and that would be black leggings, black jeans, black t-shirts, and black tank tops. And once you have a solid black base like that, you can always add accessories to spice up your look. Now, for example, here is an outfit before accessories. I got this top from Walmart and the jeans from Walmart as well. My boots are from Forever 21. And then here is the same outfit, but with accessories added. Now, none of the accessories here are over $20. We've got a corset, which I got from Amazon. The necklace and earrings are from AliExpress. And this belt is also from Walmart. I love dressing up basic black outfits like this with a corset. I feel like a corset just adds so much to any look. And the best part is I find a lot of corsets like this online on Amazon for really cheap. Now, one tip I will give you guys before putting on your corset, always put your shoes on first because trying to bend down with a corset on to tie your shoes, let's just say it'll leave you breathless. <laughs> Now, I really believe that basics are the backbone of every outfit. For example, we have this gorgeous off-the-shoulder black dress from Bella Poque, which is an Amazon seller. Now, by itself, this dress would definitely be considered more pin-up than goth, but if you add a corset, it totally changes the whole look. You could also add a waist cincher belt, a harness, a choker, and by adding these accessories, it instantly transforms the whole outfit and your look. But this is another dress from that same Amazon store, Bella Poke. Now by itself, this does look more goth or alternative because of the silhouette. It has a little corset lacing in the back, the straps are faux leather, and it also has that gorgeous asymmetrical hemline with some lace. So if you wanted to just wear this all by itself, you'd be set. But just for fun, you could always add a harness or a waist center on top. Now, you don't have to show a lot of skin in order to dress more goth. Now, for example, we can take this outfit here. This outfit looks more Victorian because of the silhouette and the ruffles around the top of the shirt. But because this outfit is all black and it has some see-through elements on the sleeves, this definitely works for making it a more goth outfit. Now, this top is from the Amazon store called Scarlet Darkness, and what I really like about this is that it comes in two parts. It has the frilly Victorian shirt itself underneath, and then on top it has a little capelet. And I love that because then I can take the cape off of this shirt and put it on anything else that I want. For example, one of the dresses that I showed you before. The skirt in this outfit is also from Bella Poke, and I love the overall design of this. And again, this by itself could be considered more pinup than goth, but because it is black and we have the shiny belt to go along with it, it instantly gives it a more gothic vibe. I'm a sucker for a mermaid skirt, so I love that this has ruffles at the bottom as well as some ruching on the sides of the hips, and it's very form-fitting, so it gives you a really sleek shape. But a plain black skirt like this is great because you can pair it with literally anything. You could pair it with a crop top, a fishnet shirt like this, and something like with this outfit, a more Victorian vibe to give it more of a modest air. Now when it comes to shopping online and even in person, I tend to look for certain fabrics rather than specific pieces of clothing. For example, fishnets, ripped tights or sweaters, black and white stripes, black lace, PVC, faux leather, and even satin, all of those fabrics and textures will give you more of a goth look to any outfit. And I find that when I look for clothing online, there are certain keywords that help me find what I'm looking for a little bit more quickly. So some of those keywords are mesh, fishnet, chains, lace-up, PVC, wet look, faux leather, stripe, Halloween, lace, bell sleeve, pinstripe, and lantern sleeve. And I find that if you filter the clothing color to black on any website, that will always help you find more gothic or alternative stuff too. 
And that's how I found most of my alternative pieces from mainstream stores like H&M, Forever 21, Express. <laughs> I also really love thrifting. I found so many unique pieces that I wouldn't find anywhere else. I have this black and white striped dress that I always wear and I always get compliments on and asked where I found it, and I found it at a Goodwill. And it really does depend on where you live in terms of what you will find at your thrift stores, but even if you don't find more unique things, I always go to thrift stores for my basic black tops, skirts, etc. And I usually find a lot of my velvet pieces at thrift stores too. Now another one of my favorite ways to make an outfit look more alternative or goth is to use pinstripes. For example, we have this pinstripe black and white skirt from Bella Poke. This gives me very Sweeney Todd, Mrs. Lovett vibes, and black and white pinstripes always make me think of Jack Skellington, and what's more goth than Nightmare Before Christmas. Now the cool thing about this skirt is that it cinches up in the front, so it gets shorter so you can showcase a cool pair of leggings or some tights. Now one thing I will say is that clothing is only a compliment to your own inner confidence, you could wear a plain black tank top and black jeans and still be goth. I am also a firm believer that you can still wear color and be goth. And some of my favorite colors to incorporate into outfits are orange, red, and purple. And speaking of color, here are some of my most colorful outfits that I wanted to share with you guys. I love this outfit in particular because it's mostly black, but then I have that pop of red, which is mirrored in my red accessories and my red makeup. And as you can see, I really enjoy the color red. Here is a crushed red velvet top from Shein that I got, and I used it just to add a cute little pop of color to this otherwise kind of plain outfit. Now this one, I know this one is shocking, but I do actually really enjoy pink. So I had this all pink fantasy moment, and then for this next outfit, I had an all red moment. I love this harness and kind of lingerie bodysuit combination. The harness is from AliExpress and the bodysuit is from Shein, I believe, but I just love how the blue hair looked with the red coloring of the outfit. And then for this next outfit, I had a bright fluorescent orange top and skirt that I got from Amazon. And to finish it off, this purple dress. And as of right now, here are some of my more affordable stores that I like to shop at. And then if you have a little bit more money to spend and want something higher quality, these are some of my more high-end brands. Now for my plus size, ladies and gentlemen, the plus size inclusive brands are going to be in purple. Also, if you shop with Shein or Dressily, I have some coupon codes which can get you additional money off. I will leave them here and also in the description box. So that is it for this Dressing Goth for Beginners video. Now, if you would like me to go into detail about any particular topics in this, like shoes, harnesses, accessories, and how to style them, just let me know in the comments. Now, if you'd like to see more of me and my outfits, where I get them from, I'll leave my try-on and haul playlist up in the cards for you. And also, feel free to check out my Instagram at Vessel of Blood, and also my TikTok under Vessel of Blood. I'll link all my social media accounts down below. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. But before I go, I just wanted to show you some more footage of the other outfits that I put in this video that didn't quite make the cut, so I hope you enjoy these clips from the editing floor that got cut from the finished video. I just really wanted to showcase these outfits and all the different ways I styled them, as well as showing you maybe a closer look at some of the accessories. I hope you guys enjoy!